if you haven't done so, please pause the video and try to solve the question on your own before listening on. In order to solve this question, what we do is have to take advantage of Snell's law. So let's take a look at that equation. Now, in order to understand how this equation works, what we need to do is define a medium one and then also a medium two. Now, typically, medium one will be the medium that light is traveling in initially. And so, in this case, we can call this medium one. And what's going to happen is the light is going to strike the interface between the air and the glass, and it's going to refract. And to understand how it refracts, what we need to do is actually extend this dotted line. And indeed, this dotted line is called the normal line. And when the light passes through the interface, it's going to bend in this fashion right here. It's a little bit tough to draw this picture. But what we want to do is try to figure out this angle right here. And that's going to be theta 2. Theta 1 is shown in the diagram to be 30 degrees. Notice that the prism itself will be defined as medium 2. And so when we plug into the formula, N2 is going to be the index of refraction of the prism, which is given as 1.5. N1 will be the index of refraction of air, and that's typically assumed to be just 1. So what we're going to do is calculate theta 2 by plugging into the equation. Now in order to solve for theta 2, we can divide both sides of the equation by 1.5. And then we'll have to take the inverse sign of both sides of the equation so that we can isolate theta 2. And when we compute the left-hand side, we can see that theta 2 turns out to be approximately 19.47 degrees. Now, in order to understand what's going to happen next, we might need to kind of zoom in on this picture just a little bit. So here is a zoomed-in portion of the picture. We're basically looking at this section of the diagram right here. Here's the theta 2 that we found earlier. We've labeled it 19.47 degrees. And what's going to happen is the light ray is going to strike the interface between the prism and air, and it's once again going to refract, but this time it's going to refract out into the air. Now to calculate the angle that the light ray is going to refract out into air, we're going to use Snell's law again, but before we can do so, we have to draw a normal line. And be careful when doing that. You have to make sure that the normal line is perpendicular to the surface of the prism. In fact, that's what a normal line means. It means perpendicular. So we have to draw our dotted line very carefully so that we basically are forming a 90 degree angle with the normal and the interface. So once this light beam strikes the interface, again, it's going to refract. And so it might look something like this. And what we want to do is figure out theta 2. And in order to do that, we actually need to back up and find this angle right here. When using Snell's law, we need to use the angle that is actually contacting that normal line. So we need to find that angle. And to find that angle, we're going to have to use a little bit of basic geometry. Let's note that from here to that gray line right there is a 90 degree angle. And so we can subtract 90 by 19.47 to find this angle. And when we do that, we get 70.53. This angle up here was actually 45 degrees. And we know that by looking back at the original picture, we had a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. So that angle up here in the top corner is going to be 45 degrees. And since the three angles of a triangle add up to 180, we can actually find this angle right here, so long as we recognize that we in fact have a triangle sort of right there. And so when you subtract 180 by 70.53 and then by 45, you should get roughly 64.47 degrees. And then finally, to find that angle right here, we note that there's a 90 degree angle from the normal to the surface of the prism right there. That's 90 degrees. And so we can subtract 90 by 64.47 to find that angle right there. And lo and behold, right there, that angle is going to be 25.53 degrees. So that's what we're going to use as theta 1 when plugging into Snell's law. And we're going to calculate theta 2. So here is Snell's law. Note that N1 this time will be 1.5 since the light ray is originating in the glass. We've got the theta 1 marked as 25.53 degrees. N2 is going to be the index of refraction of air since that's the material into which the light is traveling. And then we're going to find theta 2. So we'll basically work out the left side and then take the inverse sign. And when we do that, we get 40.27 degrees for theta 2. So we've cleaned up the drawing a little bit. That is the correct angle, but because the question is asking for the angle that the light ray makes with the horizontal, 
we have to draw a horizontal line and then try to express our angle in terms of that horizontal line. So a little bit tricky perhaps, but why don't we go ahead and let's say right here, let's project a line that's exactly horizontal. So it's pointing perfectly to the right. And since this angle is 45 degrees, a little bit of geometry would tell us that this angle right here is also 45 degrees because we have that gray line running parallel to this black line right here. And then there's this transversal that's cutting between them. And so we have the alternate interior angles if you want to get fancy. But basically that's 45 degrees right there. What we want, well what the question wants, I don't know if we want this, but we want to find this angle right there because that would be the angle relative to the horizontal, which is that gray line. And to find that little guy, hopefully you can see that from this brown line to the surface of the prism, it's a little bit convoluted, but that's a 90 degree angle. So if we take 90 degrees, which again is the angle between this black line right here and that brown line right there, if we take 90 degrees and subtract 45 and then subtract the 40.27, that's going to give us that little orange angle right there. And when you do that, that turns out to be roughly 4.73 degrees. So that's going to be the angle as measured relative to that gray horizontal line, which is exactly what the question is asking for. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, click the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Remember, you can send in your own question to the email address on the screen and I'll do my best to answer it on YouTube.